Hey, what's going on guys? Oxford here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install the ultra wide mod fix for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Now, this is a follow up video from my other video I made about a couple years ago for Elden Ring ultra wide fix. And I've been asked to do a follow up video for the DLC. So here we are. As you can tell, this is an ultra wide. I'm also using an FOV mod that goes alongside with it. But it does indeed work, albeit you have to be offline, unfortunately. It's the same as before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to install this correctly. And then I'm also going to teach you how to revert back to it in case you want to go back online. So stay tuned later in the video for that explanation. All right. So first thing is up. I'm going to go ahead and exit the game and let's go ahead and walk through what it is that I did to get this to work. So this is using the flawless widescreen tool, which is outstanding where you get this at. Obviously just go to flawless widescreen, look for it on Google or whatever your search engine you're using. Once you find it, the website looks just like this, lots of green everywhere. You're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you're going to select where it says recommended. Go ahead and select this here and download flawless widescreen and install it. Now, once you have it installed, it's going to look like this here. Now, here's the thing. If you're brand new to flawless widescreen, some of you use this tool all the time like me, but if you're brand new to this, what you're going to do is you're going to, you see the left panel where it says available plugins. You're going to go in this list and it is alphabetized. You're going to scroll down to the E's and you're going to look for Elden Ring. You're going to click it. What's going to happen is it's going to put it up into the installed plugins section. Okay. Like you see on your screen right now. Now Elden Ring is now this active plugin for flawless widescreen. If you look off to the right side of the panel, you're going to see all the information regarding Elden Ring and the ultra wide mod. Now in here, you're going to want to make sure, basically I'm going to be hundred percent with you. Just check everything. Okay. Just check all these boxes. All right, you have fix enabled, aspect fix, resolution fix is going to be windowed mode. More on that later. You can do FOV adjustment if you choose to do so. I actually really like it. I'm going to stop and talk about FOV adjustment right now. If you look over to the left side, you're going to see FOV fine adjustment. I have mine at 10%. That seems to be really nice because the camera does come in and out in the game organically or like when you mount up on torrent, the camera slightly pulls out or when you sprint, the camera pulls out a little bit. So if, I feel like if you go any higher than 10%, I feel like your character is like way too far from your screen, but that's just, that's subjective. You do whatever you would like. Next up is frame rate adjustment. So off to the left, you can go from 60 frames all the way up to 360 or basically unlocked in a sense. Next up is one of my favorites is the vignette adjustment. I'm not a fan of vignettes in games. I think it makes it look like you're looking through a keyhole or you're pigeonholed into this view. I don't really care for it. So check that box. You're going to come over here to the left bottom side where it's called vignette adjustment. For me, for my taste, I lower this all the way down to the value of 0%. But if you like a little bit of vignette in your games, adjust the slider however you see fit. Okay. Next up is remove the 60 hertz uh, frames per second limit if you choose to do so. And then increase the animation distance here. We'll check that box. Now, I'm going to go back to the 60 hertz FPS limit. Well, if you're watching this video, somebody drop a comment and let me know if this is still working. I stream in 60 frames per second, so I lock my game at 60 so that the streams are like butter smooth. So I never adjust the frames on here because I want to make sure that my stream, my live streams look really smooth with 60. But somebody drop a comment and say, hey, this isn't working or it does work. I don't know. Increase animation distance. This, I kind of noticed sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I did notice in the distance that some of the like bats, for instance, or any enemies with wings have like a, their frames per second is like 10 and their choppy wings are fl flying or whatever. And, and when they come towards you, then it goes into full animation. Check this box if you want to. I will say this though. If you have performance issues where you feel like you're starting to get some performance dips or some stuttering, Come in here and uncheck this because I think, and this is just a, I'm not really quite sure yet. I haven't like proved this yet. I haven't fact checked this yet or validated it. 
Um, but I think this right here can use up some extra resources if you're on a lower end machine. Finally, we have the disabling the chromatic aberration. I'm not a fan of chromatic aberration at all in video games unless it's applied to water and then that's fine because, you know, let's be honest, water, depending on where you are, looks kind of weird in some cases if it's not clean. But uh, you can go ahead and disable the chromatic aberrations. Just check all this stuff. Now, come down to the very, very bottom because a lot of people miss this one. Make sure that you check the box that says acknowledge and ignore. Check this box, all right? Now, one last tip before we move on to how to install this in the folder structure. You see this box at the top? It's called fix enabled, okay? There were a, quite a few times where when I installed the DLC and I went in to use this, when I booted up the game, for some reason, this fix enabled box unchecked automatically. And so the widescreen or ultra widescreen mod didn't work. And I was like, what's going on? Well, when I alt tabbed out, this fix enabled box here was unchecked. So if that's you, make sure you go back into this tool and make sure that this is checked because there's a chance it got unchecked and you didn't know. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and look at the folder structure here and rename a couple of the executable names here. It's just like the other video, the one I posted a couple years ago, nothing has changed, but I wanna walk you through this. So go ahead and navigate to where you have Elden Ring installed, especially for the Steam users out there. It's gonna be Program x86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Elden Ring, and then Game, that folder. And then in here, you're gonna have this view that you're seeing on screen, okay? now. The first thing that I do is I left click the Elden Ring executable and I simply hit control C and then control V. Copy, paste, make a copy backup of the Elden Ring executable. That's step number one. Step number two, you're gonna left click the original Elden Ring executable. Okay, not the copy, but the original one. Click that. You're gonna rename it to, do you see where, you see where it says start underscore protected underscore game, okay? This right here is your anti-cheat, the easy anti-cheat. That's what that is right there. So what I do is I right click start protected underscore game. I right click that and then I'm gonna go ahead and rename it, but I'm only gonna add on a couple of letters. While you're here, copy start underscore protected underscore game, copy that, click this in here and say dot old, dot O-L-D and hit enter. And the reason you're doing that is because you're setting that file aside. You're not gonna delete it. You're just simply setting it aside temporarily until you want to go back online. Now, remember what we copied before, right? We copied that name. Go back to the Elden Ring executable. Click it, right click, and then rename. Hit Control V or simply paste that start underscore protected underscore game. That's it. Okay. Here's another step that I don't know is still required. It may not be required. So somebody drop a comment and say that last step is not required or that last step is required. If you do not have this, okay, there is a notepad down here. You're going to right click and say new and then create a brand new notepad and you're going to name it steam underscore app ID. If it's not already there, when you open this up, I want you to add this number in here. One, two, four, five, six, two, zero. That's the steam app ID for Elden ring. Make sure that you add that. But again, this step may not be required any longer. It was two years ago, but in 2024, I don't know. So somebody let me know. Once you've done this, you have two options. You can either fire up the game from here, from this start protected underscore game, or you can simply go back to Steam and hit the green play button. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fire up Elden Ring, the DLC, with the green play button within Steam to show that it does work. But if it doesn't work for you, you can use the executable in the directory to fire up the game, okay? Now, here's what I wanna show you real quick, is when you boot up the game, you're gonna get a message right at the start. I wanna talk about this, because I got some comments on my other original video about this. So when you boot this up and you go past the logos, there's a message that's going to pop up right here where it says inappropriate activity detected, unable to start in online mode. Don't freak out. That's okay. Hit okay. The next message is going to say, hey, you're going to be in offline mode. Yeah, all right. All right. So you'll get those two messages every time you start the game with this mod, just so you know. Now, the first thing you're going to do, go down to system, tab over to the far right tab called graphics. Make sure that your screen mode is in borderless windowed. 
Okay, make sure it's in this because all the other modes, I couldn't get the other modes to work like full screen mode. It wouldn't work for me, but if it does for you, let me know. But for me, I had to go borderless windowed. All right. My resolution is actually 3840 by 1600. I'm on a uh, 38 inch LG. I think it's a 21 by 10 aspect ratio. So it's a, it's a little bit taller than your average ultra wide. But what you need to do is find your closest resolution for most of you guys out there, you're probably rocking a 3440 by 1440. So select this one here or maybe 2560 by 1080 or whatever your closest resolution. Make sure you select the closest resolution that you have, okay, for your monitor. You can always upscale and go up if you choose to do so. I didn't really notice a visual difference. Can be 100% with you on that one. I mean, you're just only stressed out your graphic card for no reason, but I didn't really see it looked better. So placebo, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go and select this one since it's the closest one for me. You're going to back out of here and then simply just go to your load game or hit continue. And then once you load in the game, you're going to see some funky stuff going on on the left and right screen. That's how you know it's working. You'll see all that loading and textures in the background, right? It's doing its thing. And then here you go. This is Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC in ultra wide. Now, whenever you quit out of the game, you'll simply just quit out like you normally do, hit Alt F4, return to desktop, whatever you want to do. Now, I've already gone over this, but I'm going to go over it again. If you want to go back online, what do you do? Let's go back to your folder structure. Okay. Go back here. Now, what we're going to do, you can keep the Elden Ring hyphen copy. You can keep that. You don't have to delete that. Next, go to the start underscore protected underscore game, which is the original Elden Ring executable. You're going to rename that back to Elden Ring. So type in Elden Ring, no space, and hit enter. Next, go to the, the start under, underscore protected underscore game dot old, which is the easy anti-cheat bootstrapper here. You're going to rename that and simply remove the dot old or dot old. Just simply remove that, keep the rest, and you're going to hit enter. Okay. Now, whenever you fire up the game again, go back to Steam and hit the green play button. So what's going to happen here is, I, by the way, I have admin rights on all that stuff. You don't need to do that. I just did it because it gives me the warm fuzzies that I'm like, okay, it's in admin mode. You can do whatever you'd like. But you can see that the easy anti-cheat is already booting up. That's a telltale sign that you're going to be back online. But let's keep going. Let's keep this recording going. And let's make sure that we are indeed back online just so you know while this is loading up this is a new game plus 10 character i'm level like 303 or some shenanigans like that so i, I highly doubt i'll have any online activity but shout out to you guys who are doing the new game plus runs i ended up doing new game plus 10 and it was a big mistake so anyways <laughs> so here we are this is basically saying hey welcome to the multiplayer online look at the bottom right corner of your screen it's showing online app version collaborator yeah collaboration version or calibration version my bad says shadow the earth tree everything's online okay so go over to system and make sure that you are indeed online enabled summon sign launch setting play online perform matchmaking all that stuff make sure it's there i had it on by default before i hit record and then i'm gonna hit the continue button now let's see what the resolution's all about the left and right side have the black bars no ultra wide screen shenanigans there of loading in the textures so now we're back to our standard widescreen and now you can see the FOV is like right there in your face. I really love the 10% FOV. It makes, it makes it look so much better. And also the vignette too. That you see the vignette. I can already see that as well. And this is, this is me back online. Uh, let's see. You open up the map and there's your online pool uh, activity for the multiplayer. It's all over the map to kind of show to you or show proof that we are indeed back online. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, share the video and drop a comment and hit that subscription button, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next Elden Ring video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.